In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to use your new Titmus HRR vision screener as well as showing proper record keeping procedures. For a printable summary, see the description of this video. To begin, flip the switch on the rear of the unit to the on position. Turn the near far switch to the far position, pointing towards the mountain. Have the patient look into the vision screener. You will know they are in the correct position when the lights on the bottom right of the control panel light up. Note the light on the left indicating that the vision screener is displaying slide number 1. The first slide is testing the patient's binocular vision. When their eyes adjust, the patient should see a combined image that looks like this. Ask the patient how many cubes do you see and what color are they? In order to pass, the patient should see three cubes, a red one on top, a white one in the middle, and a blue one on the bottom. Record the results by circling the number of cubes seen by the patient. Advance the slide to number two by pressing the plus sign on the control panel. This slide tests for visual acuity. Ask the patient, do you see several rows of letters? Which is the smallest row you can see clearly? Read the letters from left to right. In order to pass the test for the first two rows, all letters must be read correctly. For all subsequent rows, one letter may be missed per row. Record the last acuity level the patient was able to correctly read. Advance the slide to number three. This slide tests for visual acuity in the right eye. The procedure is the same as for slide two. Mark the results in the right answer box under FAR test. Advance the slide to number 4. This slide is the same as the previous but for the left eye. Mark the results in the left answer box under FAR test. Advance the slide to number 5. This slide tests for depth perception. Ask the patient, does the bottom ring in target 1 seem to float out towards you? If no, move on to slide number 6. If yes, say to the patient, tell me which ring floats out towards you on target 2. Repeat for all 9 targets and record the results by putting a slash through the last correct answer. Advance to slide number 6. This slide tests for red-green color perception. Ask the patient, what numbers do you see in circles A through F? Record the results by putting a slash through each incorrect answer. Advance the slide to number 7. This slide tests for more specific types of color perception issues. Occlude the right eye. Ask the patient, when you look at the slide, what shape is in box number 1, number 2, and so on to number 6. Record the results on the record form under HR1 left eye by crossing out each incorrectly identified shape. Now occlude the left eye and repeat the procedure. Record the results under HR1 right eye. Advance to slide number 8. The procedure for slide number 8 is the same as for slide number 7. Record the results for the left and right eyes in the corresponding HR2 boxes. After recording all the data, move each incorrectly identified shape into the corresponding box to the right. In order to pass, the patient must not misidentify any two shapes from the same section. For example, in this slide, if the patient misses shape 1, a triangle, and shape 4, a circle, the patient may be afflicted with Duton color blindness and cannot be passed. Advance the slide back to number one. Here we will be testing for peripheral vision. Ask the patient to raise their hand each time they see a light flash. We will test for temporal vision at 85, 70, and 55 degrees, as well as a nasal test at 45 degrees. The patient must see all lights in order to pass. On the record form, we record the results by circling each light the patient was able to see. 
We tally the results by simply adding the degrees up. A passing score will be 255 for each eye, or 510 total. Now turn the near far switch to the near position, pointing towards the book. Repeat the tests at slides 1, 2, 3, and 4 using the same procedures. Record the results in the near point section of the record form. Change the near far lever to the far position and slide the intermediate lens into the vision screener. Now repeat slides 2, 3, and 4. Record the results in the intermediate section of the record form. After completing this, the patient has finished the test and may be excused. Compare your record form to the proper section of the job standards book. If any of the results land in the pink areas of the overlay, it may be indicative of a vision issue. Do not attempt to diagnose the patient yourself. Refer the patient to an ophthalmologist for further diagnostic tests. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, refer to the cheat sheet provided in the video description or call us at 1-800-736-6334.